Fox 4 News starts now. A Fort Worth police officer has returned from Central America after having a cutting-edge medical procedure to help cure his multiple sclerosis. Last year, we told you about Sergeant Preston Walker. Tonight, Larry Berger updates us on how he's feeling following his stem cell transplant. Sergeant Preston Walker has always been active. With a demanding job at the Fort Worth Police Department, a wife and young children, he doesn't have time to slow down. But about eight years ago, he didn't have a choice. Multiple sclerosis started taking a toll, making him limp when he walked, fatigue easily. Even everyday conversation was a chore. You can sit here and talk, but trying to come up with actual words to say and really con construct a sentence that uh, people would, would understand this was sometimes very difficult. Medicine helped keep the disease in remission, but Preston wanted more, a chance for a cure. I wasn't prepared to just, I don't know, let it stay in remission without me trying to do something, especially if there's an option out there to, to address it. Sergeant Walker was initially planning to have his treatment done in China, but he says the political situation seemed unstable and not getting any better. So he started looking online, and he was able to find another center that was doing the same treatment. In the procedure, a stem cell transplant, was expensive, about $20,000. <laughs> Last October, police officers from Fort Worth and Dallas teamed up to help Walker raise money for the trip and the treatment. In March, Preston and a friend, fellow MS patient Richard Humphreys, flew to the Institute for Cellular Medicine. Both underwent a stem cell transplant, a cutting-edge medical procedure not yet approved in the U.S. Both took a risk on such a new treatment. Both say they've seen marked improvement. I haven't felt this good probably in 10 years. I don't have any of the fatigue issues. The, all the cognitive lack of clarity, that, that little cloud's been lifted. Walker says doctors at the Institute will be keeping up with him and Richard over the coming months and years to determine how successful the surgery was. He's hoping his improvements last and that the research leads to a cure for his and others multiple sclerosis. In Fort Worth, Larry Barriger, Fox 4 News.